Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation. We're going to apply the quotient rule, where we differentiate a function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, y equals 4x to the third minus 3x squared all over 4x to the fifth minus 4. Okay? Well, since I have a quotient function here, I'm going to label the top part f, the numerator f, 4x to the third minus 3x squared, but my denominator g, 4x to the fifth minus 4. Then I'm going to find f prime from there. So f prime is 12x squared minus 6x, and my g prime here is 20x to the fourth. Okay? 20x to the fourth. So now I have f, g, f prime, g prime, I can apply the quotient rule. So I'm going to take my derivative, dy dx, and that's going to equal f prime, 12x squared minus 6x, times g, which is 4x to the fifth minus 4, minus f, which is 4x to the third minus 3x squared, times g prime, which is 20x to the fourth, all over here, g squared, which is 4x to the fifth minus 4 squared. Okay? A lot written out here, so now I needed to distribute. I'm going to distribute all parts up there. Okay, so we have dy, dx, my derivative. Well, 12 times uh, 4 is, oh my goodness, 36. 12 times 4 is 60. Right? 12, uh, 4, no, not 60. Uh, 48, 48, 48, can't believe I said 60, 48, x to the, we add the exponents to the 7th power, uh, 12 times 4 again, uh, is a negative uh, 48x squared, negative 6 times 4 is a negative 24, we add the exponents x to the 6th power, and negative 6 times, a ne or 6x times a negative 4 is a positive 24x. Now, when we subtract here, we have to remember that subtraction is distributed to both parts, okay? So 4 times 20 uh, is, uh, is 80. So we have 80x we add to the 7th power, but a subtraction going there. Then that subtraction goes with this subtraction, right? We assume that a subtraction of both parts right there, right? Makes an addition. So we add 3x uh, squared times 20x to the 4th. That's 60 here, x to the 6th power. All over, now my denominator, I'll make a little note here, 4x to the 5th minus 4 uh, times 4x to the 5th minus 4. Distribute that out, 4 times 4x to the, uh, 4, times, 4 is 16, and then x to the 10th power. Uh, multiply that, we have 16x to the 5th, uh, negative 16x to the 5th, and a positive 16. Simplify that, we have 16x to the 10th minus 32x to the fifth plus 16. Okay, so I'm going to uh, write that out here. Okay, um, now what I can try to do here is I'm also, uh, well, I'll write it out here, 16x to the 10th minus 32x to the fifth plus 16. Technically, this is still a derivative. We're good, but we're going to simplify as much as possible. So we have dy dx is equal to, well, let's go combine our like terms. Okay, uh, 48 and negative 80, all right, they come together, and I'm trying to do that in my head right now, 2 is 50, 30, 32, that's a negative 32, so you're negative 32, x to the 7th, now these have my highest degrees, so I'm going to deal with the 7th power first, okay, and so I put a little mark there showing that I've, I've used those, and the next highest degree was the 6s, so uh, x to the 6th power, so let's deal with that, 60 uh, minus 24 comes out to be 40, is 20, Minus on 4 is 36, so you've got a positive 36x to the 6th there. Okay, now we have x squared, my next one. So we subtract, there's nothing else, 48x squared, right there. And then the last part is plus 24x, okay? My denominator, okay, I see that I could probably pull, um, pull out a common value from all parts here, all parts. And so if I can pull out a common value in all parts, what I can see is, well, I can pull out a 16 really from all of them. So let's go do that. Let's just go pull out a 16. So we have 16 here, uh, x to the 10th minus 2x to the 5th plus 1. Okay? 
So I pulled out 16, that's what would happen. Well, can I pull out a common term in all of these? Okay, the common term I can pull out, well, what goes into 32, 36, 48, and 24? Uh, definitely two, obviously, uh, and another two, right? So uh, four can definitely come out of all of these, and that's where I think it, it's limited at. Okay, I believe it's uh, four. Yeah, four goes into all of them. So four is out here. I'm then left with a uh, negative uh, eight x to the seventh plus we're pulling four out of all part. Um, four goes into thirty-six nine times, so we have nine x to the sixth minus forty-eight. Four goes into forty-eight how many times? That's twelve. Twelve x squared plus four goes into twenty-four six times six x all over here. Well. Since I know 4 is the only part I can pull out, and 16 is really just 4 times 4, okay? I'll put a 4 back in the inside part, so 4 times, multiplying this other 4 inside, 4x to the 10th minus 8x to the 5th plus uh, 4, okay? So now our 4s will cancel, leaving me this being my final answer, my final derivative, my dy dx. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to leave it like that. And there we have it. We have this part here is my final answer. Negative 8x to the 7th plus 9x to the 6th minus 12x squared plus 6x all over 4x to the 10th minus 8x to the 5th plus 4. Okay? So let's recap. Just double checking here, make sure it was all right and we're good. So let's recap. We're given our uh, function here y equals 4x to the 3rd minus 3x squared over 4x to the 5th minus 4. I label my numerator, my f, my denominator g, and I found f and g prime respectively. From there, I applied the uh, quotient rule, which was f prime times g minus f times g prime all over g squared, and then I simplified. Simplification was kind of tricky. You're pulling things out, recognizing things, bringing things back in. But eventually, when I cancel some things out, I'm left with my final answer here, which was our final derivative, uh, dy dx is equal to negative 8x to the 7th plus 9x to the 6th minus 12x squared plus 6x all over 4x to the 10th minus 8x to the 5th plus 4.